Hello guys and welcome again to Chris Hogg Media on General Happenings. Guys, more win for Peter Obi, more win for the Labour Party, and more win for the obedience. <laughs> more win for the obedience because more endorsements coming up. Coming up now, we have about a week thereabouts to the presidential election for all the works that has been done all this while. Now we want to put it to test. We want to put it to test. We want to put people to test of all the support they have for the Labour Party for Mr. Peter Obi. This is the time for you to put to test. Don't forget that I said that the governor of Benway State, uh, Governor Autumn, has openly endorsed Mr. Peter Obi. Don't forget that Governor Autumn is one of the G5 governors. You know, he has now, he couldn't even hold it anymore. <laughs> he decided to come out now to say obedience, obedient, obedati, all the way. Labour Party all the way, Mr. Peter Obi all the way not only him uh we have the endorsement also from the former governor of undo state uh olusha gumimiko former uh, senate president ayim payos ayim donald duke you know we have you know from different people prominent people in the society we're talking about not just any our persons the endorsement of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, by the governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn, who on Thursday said that Obi surpassed other candidates, including Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, by age and capacity, among other virtues. Autumn's endorsement is the latest boost towards Peter Obi's ambition in winning next week's presidential election, following the likes of former Ondo State Governor Olushagun Mimiko, his Cross River State counterpart Donald Duke, former Deputy National Chairman of the PDP, Chief Body Judge, and former Senate President Ayim Pius Ayim, in backing the Labour Party flag bearer. Well, during the town hall meeting held at the Royal Choice Inn in Makodi, Autumn lauded the qualities of Peter Obi, whom he held as an outstanding candidate who will root out insecurity and unite the country. Let's take a listen before we take some reactions. In this 2022, fashion a new Nigeria. is the 17th now we have just less than a week to cast our vote to go to the polling unit and make our vote counts thank you very much guys for listening if this is your first time try as much as possible to subscribe and leave your opinion in the comment section i'll be seeing you in the next video